All right, what's up, boxing fans? It's Aztec 101. So this is going to be a prediction video for Christian and Billy versus Sergey Derevchenko. Uh, this fight's tomorrow. It's going to be for the WBC Continental America's Super Middleweight Championship title. That is a lot of fucking words for nothing. It's a trinket that means very little. <laughs> right now, his best accolade for Christian Mabili is that he's the number one contender for the WBC title that Saul Canelo Alvarez holds. That is right now the best accolade. Um, this trinket right here, it's kind of meaningless. Uh, as of right now, Benavides is still technically on paper holding the interim title. Uh, next month in September, they're going to update uh, the WBC rankings, and that's when you're going to see uh, Benavides's name off the list. Uh, Christian Mbili is going to remain the number one contender. The the only thing I'm interested in knowing would be is Christian Mbili going to inherit the mandatory status, that status that you know Benavides has been clamoring to for two years and never did anything about it. And I wonder if Christian Mbili is going to be given an opportunity to enforce a mandatory, to be able to come out out the gate and be like, hey, let's go to Perspid. Something that David Benavides did not do while he was the number one contender. Um, that's going to be interesting. I'm curious about that. Christian Mbili versus Sergey Derevchenko is going to be a great fight, without a doubt. Honestly, this has fallen under the radar. And um, I'm a little bit ashamed that I didn't come out with any other video leading up to this fight because this is actually a very good fight. It's a great fight. Uh, styles make fights. And this, these two styles, I mean, you can't go wrong. They're both two bulls coming forward head to head. That's it. That's what, that's what you're supposed to expect. They both have just a different way of going about they're uh, distributing their offense. That's going to be the main difference. Christian Billy, he likes to come forward. Sergey Derevchenko likes to cut angles. They're both high volume punchers. They're both uh, high endurance fighters. Uh, Christian um, Billy is younger. Derevchenko is in his late 30s. And uh, before I go into my full prediction, uh, let's talk about their stats. So, like I said, Christian Billy right now is ranked number one under the WBC. He's got 27 wins. Uh, 23 of those wins are by KO. He's undefeated. No losses, no draws. Uh, you have Sergey Derevchenko, uh, who's got 15 wins, and 10 of those wins are by KO. Five of his losses, all five of his losses, are disputable losses. Great fucking fights, too. So, uh, he's never been stopped. Um, I think he got dropped against Munguia. And to be honest, I think that uh, Christian Billy right now has, you know, he's got a game opponent in front of him, despite Derevchenko's age. Uh, right now, Derevchenko's ranked number seven under the WBC. And this is a good fight for Christian Billy. No one has ever stopped Derevchenko if he can do that. That's going to, I think. To be honest, if you can stop Derevchenko, that, that's going to launch Billy uh, right into a fight with Saul Canelo Alvarez. In my opinion, I think that he would be he would uh, he would be a, a great opponent, but he has to look great in order for him to to demand that. He has to look great against Derevchenko, and guess what? Not too many people can do that. Not too many people can do that against uh, Sergey. This, the, these two styles, I like it a lot. Uh, Christian and Billy, he likes to fight up close, inside fighting, volume punching, pressure you, get you along the ropes. That's where he makes his money. He likes to tee off when you're along the ropes. He likes to punch through your guard. He likes to go downstairs, upstairs, switch up the dis the, the the elevation so that way he can uh, drop your guard whenever he can. He'll throw looping right hands. Uh, his hooks, they're pretty solid. He's kind of telegraphs. He's not very uh, defensive-minded. Um, so I do expect Sergey Derevchenko to use his style to get an advantage there because Derevchenko, he also is a volume puncher. He likes to throw volume, but he likes to use angles. He's not really come straight forward in a straight line. He's not really the kind of guy that, you know, 
will 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 bank on you being all along the ropes or needs for you to be along the ropes for you to uh for him to to tee off he fights well coming forward going backward but he likes to control the center of the ring and i think that it's gonna be this that's that's gonna be the 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 fight the fight is gonna be who's gonna control the pace and where the fight takes place will sergey derevchenko be able to keep the fight in the center of the ring and not get pushed along the ropes and then also will christian and Mabili be able to pressure derevchenko off that center and onto the ropes where he could really cause a lot of damage that's going to be the question um in my opinion this is my final prediction i'm going i'm going uh i'm going with age i think christian billy he's talented um he has defensive flaws and a much younger sergey derevchenko i think would take advantage of that you know what i mean but for right now i think that christian billy he just lost he just won his last fight against uh Mark Heffron in the second round, nasty uh, uh, body shot. Um, I'm sorry, I think it was the first round uh, with a nasty body shot. And to be honest, I, I think that uh, this is going to go 12 rounds. But if he can stop Derevchenko, this is then all we're going to hear is uh, Christian with Billy's name. Uh, um, people are going to want to see him fight Canelo for sure. But that's my prediction. That's my prediction. To some people, you know, if they don't know who Derevchenko is, I don't think they'll see any value in this fight. And Christian Billy, he's still trying to get his name uh, out there in the United States. I don't think too many people from the United States are really following Christian Billy's career other than hardcore boxing fans. But I don't think he's reached out to the casual yet. Um... I think a fight with Munguia now that Munguia is with top rank, uh, a fight with Munguia would be great. And that's the only way that it would launch Christian Mabili. And, you know, fortunately, uh, Munguia is ranked number two under the, the WBC rankings. So if if Christian Mabili can win this fight and, you know, look great, and then Munguia can win his next fight and look great, um, that would also be another matchup that can happen. And that's that's a great matchup right there. The winner of this fight, you know, either Derevchenko gets his rematch against Munguia um, or Christian Mabili gets a fight against Munguia. I mean, I think those those are great matchups. You guys let me know. Leave a comment. Um, final prediction, Christian Mabili, 12-round decision. Leave a comment. Let me know what you predict. This is Aztec 101 in the ring, and I'm out.